Well, we're going to talk about surviving in the next five years because in two years, we're going to make a fortune, but we need to get there. So we're going to talk about what to do today, what is going on with the valuations, what you can do to protect your portfolio. And let me go to my next slide. Let's just talk about what we're calling this. Because in the long run, valuations are the most important thing about any investments that you can have. And of course, if your, your valuations start to slide, which is happening, it's happening right now, particularly if you're in a commercial space, valuations are, are sliding big time. This means you can't get uh, refinanced. And of course, what happens is that your equity position and your profits are gone. And we work a lifetime to do this. So yes, infinite returns does protect our capital, but we're in business really to make money. And if we're not making money, we're violating one of those two rules. Remember, we only want to make money and we don't want to lose money. Those are the only two we're really concerned about. So let me go to my next slide. Let's just talk about what we see, what's going on right now. Now, you know, we do an awful lot of investments. We're fiduciaries here in Phoenix, Arizona. So when we look at real estate properties, there's only two things that make any difference in a, in a real estate transaction. This is a property, a good property, and it doesn't matter whether you're an industrial, multifamily, office space, retail space, or in our space, which is a really conservative uh, single family homes in the affordable homes range. And we are very, very conservative. But regardless of where you are in, the, in any real estate space, is the property a good property for what you're using it for? And if it is, that's fine. If it's not, we don't buy it. And number two, and this is where we have an awful lot of beginners get in trouble, an awful lot of our professionals do this because they've been using this infinite strategy, which works until when it doesn't work, it's a disaster. You know, so a lot of beginners are uh, undercapitalized, overly optimistic, and truly over leveraged. And it's the over leverage that takes you down. You know, during the great financial crisis, it wasn't the asset. It wasn't the real estate that took people down. It was the debt on the real estate that took it down. So let's talk about what that means for us right now. Now, this is what's going on. We've been talking about the fact that, uh, you know, our timing model is showing that uh, the, uh, we're in a completion process and commercial and is leading the way. Now, this just happened. We got this from Zero Hedge. We're talking about a Canadian fund that sold their 29% stake in 360 Park Avenue uh, in Manhattan for $1. $1. Why would they sell their position for $1? Because they thought they're going to incur losses because they were leveraged up to the wazoo. And the wazoo is a long place to be. So when you have too much debt, that debt will take you down. And they did this smart because the first person to sell is the one that survives. They sold their position for $1. They were partnered with someone out of uh, to a, a wealth sovereign fund out of Singapore. So these were professionals, but the valuations went against them, which means that the infinite strategy is not going to work because the valuations will fall. And of course, then the, the uh, uh, all that debt is going to be there. So they sold this property for $1 and someone assumed their, uh, their loans. Uh, and that they, uh, they were very happy with that because look what's going on. So let's just blow this up. Now, we've been in a boom for the last three years now because of all liquidity. So we're looking at this. I got this from Zero Hedge this morning. They're talking about the reverse repo program. You know, the Federal Reserve and the Treasury put out so much money. They have excess liquidity of $2.5 trillion of excess liquidity, $2.5 trillion excess. That means there's enough money around to do any crazy thing you want to do. And of course, you know, you have lenders that the loan officers get paid, the appraisers get paid, the title companies get paid, the banks make money, the executives get their bonuses, everybody's happy until things start to break. And it's starting to break now. And this liquidity is, is being sucked out and it's being removed from the marketplace. And of course, we have, we have liquidity destruction when you have defaults. So you can have $300 million at a whack just defaulted and it goes away and it is destroyed never to come back. And this fund that we have $2.5 trillion is now down to $500 billion and a billion dollars a month. There's only four or five months left of liquidity. So it needs to be, you need to be very aware. So this, is, this has been the consequence of it is that of all this debt around, we have private and public debt is at historic levels. 
Now we've got uh, we've talked about in, in prior videos the fact that the the Federal Reserve or I'm sorry the federal government has debt that's exceeded 1.1 trillion dollars in debt service for the first time ever. 1.1 trillion dollars. It's unsustainable. It's unsustainable in the private and and public. You this is just looking at default and look at this next slide. We're talking about the National Association of Credit Managers are expecting some kind of a uh, credit event because their index of concern is approaching great financial crisis levels and it's just starting. This is probably going to exceed that. And once this starts happening, it kind of snowballs and implodes on each other. So you as an investor, what can you possibly do? Let's start thinking, what are you going to do? If you are at risk, what are you going to do? I got this from John Rubino. John Rubino and I did a video not too terribly long. He's a really smart guy. You should look at our videos. By the way, if you like our videos, would you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe? You wouldn't believe how uh, how helpful that is with uh, with YouTube's uh, logarithms. They really help us. Now, John Rubino and I did this video. He sent over this uh, this slide, and of course, it's talking about savings, and the savings are depleted. Now we have we have credit card uh, at. Uh, uh, balances at the highest level. And of course, we're talking about 25% interest rates. Can you imagine 25%? You're paying 25% for a privilege of using a credit card? And savings are depleted. Just look at this chart. Savings are depleted. What a terrible situation. You know, we're, our, our, our GDP is 70% consumerism when the credit cards get maxed and there's no more savings. What are you going to sell? What are you going to buy? You don't have the, You don't have the ability to do that. Let me go to my next slide. Now I keep pounding the table on this. You know, it's an 18 year cycle. It doesn't necessarily need to be exactly 18, but there's signposts along the way. All those signposts have come out and are saying that we are certainly completing. It's focused in the commercial space now, like it was in the late 80s, leading into the RTC and the savings and loan crisis. That eventually led into, uh, into a residential and it really imploded. It takes a long time. That is what's happening. It shows that we have peaked, that we are done. Now, our raw data is showing that the peaks are in, and it probably is down from here. So there's no more capital gains. It's not going to go up anymore. So if you are in one of our endangered cities, you know, for 12 or 1300 bucks, you can do a 1031 exchange, get out of an endangered city, get into Florida, Texas, or Arizona, not incur any uh, federal capital gains, defer them. And why aren't you doing this? Get into a city that uh, is going to have some kind of long-term future. Like, like we hear it here in, in Phoenix, Arizona, the future is bright. Now, we're not going to be immune from the coming problems, but we're not going to be anywhere near as bad as the other places. Let me go to my next slide here. So this is how you get a hold of me. Give us a call if you want to discuss your if you want to discuss your portfolio. We're here to listen to you and make some suggestions. My timing model is screaming sell. If you're over leveraged, sell. If you're located in one of those endangered cities, sell. If you need income, sell and get something better. So give us a call. We're more than happy to go over with this with your portfolio manager, with your brokers, with your spouse. My very best to you. Bye bye now.